Welcome to DST Racing Projects. I'm Steve. I don't have a Dave today. I'm in my own workshop. Uh, and today I'll be looking at my little Honda SS125, which has developed a small oil leak. The oil leak in question is coming from the seal on the crankshaft behind the alternator. Um, I have already stripped it out. There's the seal in itself. Not a very big one, but this one's gone hard. Um, there's not many bolts left on it. I've just put it back together again so that you can see. It's not a difficult job to get to it. Once the uh, once you've determined that you need to take that off, there's a few little tips that you may need to consider. The rotor itself you need a flywheel puller to take it off. Now fortunately, Honda, in their infinite wisdom, sent one with the bike. It's called a front wheel spindle. It fits beautifully in there, so you can use that to extract the rotor. Just a little tip. I have the new seal for it, but unfortunately, I don't have any more three bond gasket sealant to put it back together again. Now here's a question that um, I haven't been able to uh, establish the answer to yet. According to the parts manual, there should be a little bung in there. I've had several of these engines to pieces. I've never found one that's got a bung in it. And unfortunately, the rubber bung that goes in there isn't uh, available anymore. So. I'm going to do a little more digging and ask a few more experts. Um, certainly Robin on the uh, SS125 Facebook page may be able to guide me. But I will ask and uh, see what we come up with. Failing that, we'll just re-gasket it with a sealant and put it back together again. As I say, I'm awaiting a few parts, but we'll get there eventually. While I'm in here... I have the opportunity to check the timing chain and to check that the, um, the cam chain tensioner system is working correctly and it appears to be so I'm a happy bunny. Another little job that I've got to do besides the seals is the fork gaiters that I had and I put on new three years ago have split. Now fortunately um, the aforementioned Robin from the um, SS125 group had some genuine ones for sale off a bike that she stripped and sold the parts out. Now, 50 years old, maybe older, um, still in good condition, maybe a bit stiff, um, so I'm having to research how do you... Um, soften and recover rubber components i'll have a look and see where we go from there but certainly they go on there nicely uh, or will go on there nicely and hopefully that will make it look a little bit better again another little job that i've got is to take a downpipe that i had made of state from stainless to uh, my friendly welder at Nicrobium, uh, who uh, will sort that out for me. Nice little crack in there. Um, I do have an original pair of downpipes, which will probably fit, although they are a bit rusty. But uh, I'm going to persevere with these stainless ones and see how we get on with that. See if Matt can weld that up for me nicely. And um, yeah, give them then finish them off and give them a good polish. A little bit of history about uh, myself and my little 125 Honda. Um, this is the first real motorcycle I ever bought. I uh, bought it in 1974 um, for the princely sum of £40. Pounds. Um, kept it ever since. Um, it was off the road for nearly 30 years uh, in a state of disrepair. But for many years, it was my only form of transport. Got me to and from work. 
even when my wife and I first got married, it was our only form of transport. I've had other bikes before and since, uh, or I've had other bikes since, um, but uh, this has always been my favourite. Um, I like to get out and about on it as much as I can, but as needs must, winter time it needs a few repair jobs, so um, let's hope um, I can get them done ready for spring and uh, enjoy the fruits of my labour and uh, enjoy the fruits of Mr Honda's exquisite machinery. Well, that's me and my little Honda for the day. Um, let's hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, ring the bell and do whatever it is Dave says we need to do. Um, anyway, bye for now. Oh.